ready? Okay, we're going to talk a little bit right now about how the host and the device communicate, and it's all based on transactions. And what is a transaction? Well, before we can talk about transactions, we have to talk about endpoints. Endpoints are buffers, nothing more and nothing less. And what they are are places you can put data either heading towards the keyboard or, heading, or data heading out of the keyboard. Now, one important thing to remember when you're talking about this is the USB spec was written by PC manufacturers. So, what is the definition you're going to think of in terms of data direction? It's the direction to the PC. So, what you're going to see is any uh, in endpoint is going to transfer data into the PC and an out endpoint transfers data out of the PC. Okay, that's the basic concept here. Um, so let's say, for example, you hit a button called the caps lock button. You automatically put the, the code for caps lock into this endpoint one and say, hey, I've got data available in, in endpoint one. That will create an in transaction, so the next time this gets queried, that data is going to be taken out and put into the inbox. Okay? Well, now, that doesn't just stop there, because now the PC has gotten the fact that, oh, somebody hit the caps lock button. I now need to light the LED on the keyboard in order to be able to say that the caps lock is lit. So he sends an out transaction to there, which then sends an LED write command to the keyboard, which then lights it. Okay? The next thing is, you just look at these as, as RAM point, as just data buckets, where they're just places we're putting data to move, this, move it from one physical device to another. Does the device decide how big that endpoint is? Yes, you can define how big these endpoints are, both in the um, descriptor file you need to define it, uh, the size of the buffers is defined by the spec to be about 64 uh, bytes. Do you see that forever? No, well, the data, no, not exactly, because what happens is, once it gets read, uh, it's available for writing again, so there's a, a protocol that allows you to write more data into it, so if you never wrote any more into it, yes, it would be there until power went away. However, in reality, the next thing that's going to happen is, the next key that, that the, the typist hits is going to get put into that same endpoint, which is going to overwrite that data and then get pulled into here and then process that way. It doesn't get clear when it gets red or it doesn't no. expire. Only, only the bit gets cleared. And we'll talk about that in detail when we talk about the serial interface engine. Okay?